take a seat and join you, have a little bit more intimate conversation. Thank you for being here today. My name's, I don't know what you're looking back there. Oh, you know what your name that's is. Up. <laughs> so this could be a loose cannon. Uh, so my name is Julie Reagan. I'm the founder and CEO of RX Lightning. And this is Lacey. Hi, I'm Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> Lacey, tell everyone today what, what, what your role is. Sure, say my name, uh, my yeah. name's Lacey. <laughs> We've established that, we're good. I'm Lacey, no. it's good to meet y'all. And, and your job? Oh, I'm a biologic coordinator. Yes, At? I feel I feel a lot like a little puppet right now. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> Do you, would you like me to sit on your lap? <laughs> this would be a lot of fun. Please. This is, and we're just your comedy show now for the next 15 <laughs> minutes. Might be 20, might be 30. Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, no, um, I am a biologic coordinator at Family Allergy and Asthma. I'm one of several of us, um, four or five of us. Okay. Now. Yep. So, I started Rx Lightning really for two reasons. Um, one, for you all. Um, as, as users and administrators in the office, we know you have one of the toughest jots. Um, and then the second reason is for patients. We have a strong belief at the company that no patient should have to wait for their medications, not know when they're gonna get their medications, and not be able to afford their medications. And we know that the process to get patients started on therapy absolutely sucks. It's all paper. It's all por millions of portals, and the people it hurts are you all in the offices and patients. What we've done is built a solution that takes all that stuff, puts it in one place for about 950 drugs. Any drug, any therapy, no more paper. So I asked Lacey to join me today because I could sit and tell you all about the wonderful thing that we built but hearing it from a user firsthand on how it's changed her office and how it's changed her workload is going to help you all understand the power of what Arcs Lightning is doing for you and your patients. So with that, um, Lacey, why don't you tell everybody about your experience before using Arcs Lightning? Sure. Um, so I started using Arcs Lightning probably um, what, I'm looking back over here in this corner just because I'm thinking. Um, probably about six, it's probably actually been about six, seven months ago, honestly. It has it probably around that time. Um, maybe eight months, anyway. Um, <laughs> and it was a, kind of an odd time period for me um, because at that point we were, um, we were a very small little office. Um, we just had three of our little local offices together. Um, it was before we had actually merged with Family Allergy. We were just a little local office. And we were um, starting to take on buy and bill in-house um, to do ourselves. And this is um, an interesting technique for us. We were using a third party at the time and it was great. Everything was going fine. We were taking it in, our, in ourselves. Um, and I got this magic phone call from Jordan Churchill. And um, it was wonderful because he just said, hey, I got this thing. You want me to walk you through it? You want to see what it's about? I said, sure. I'm just like, whatever. We can, we can look at it. It's cool. He's like, okay. We walked through it. We looked at it and I went, hmm, we'll try and see. I, you know, I had all this other stuff going on. I was thinking, I don't really have a process for specialty pharmacies right now. I've got other things I need to worry about. Let's try it, yeah. see how it works. Because I, there was, my specialty stuff was specialty stuff. And it's, you know, you have, it's paperwork. And it's, I mean, there's stuff everywhere. You've got, well, paperwork and paperwork and paperwork. And then you, you know, you've got weeks. <laughs> weeks and, and okay let's let's hope that fax comes through and sure that's gone somewhere and we'll wait for deliveries and you know you're just you've got stuff set up everywhere well um and so we we set this one up and then um and you i you didn't believe it would actually work no i should say i should say i'm going to say mm -hmm. what you i'm actually going to say what you don't want me to say oh god but nobody wants me to say i'm going to say it because i have to just because i've said it every time Every time I'm on the phone, I say the same thing, and it, and it just wouldn't be real if I didn't say it. But um, I keep waiting for the next shoe to drop. I do. I keep saying, okay, what's, I'm waiting for something to go wrong. And it hasn't gone wrong yet. So I think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> so um, why don't you tell people what some of your favorite features are the, um, with this? So we do specialty pharmacies, pick, 
pick all those paper forms that go to all the big pharmacies, we got, we got them digital. Um, all the hub forms, we got it digital. All the PAP forms, we got it digital. So tell people before how you were managing that and really managing the patient side of it and because it's not just one that you have to complete paper for, it's all your patients. Right. So, um, yeah, so we would, you know, do the enrollment forms. Once we, once basically we found out somebody had to be used specialty pharmacy and not a buy and bill side, you'd have to do the enrollment forms. And then, because being a buy and bill primarily office, you want to use, utilize buy and bill when you can. Yeah, so, you know, the patients most likely are not going to be in the office at the point when, when you figure this out. Um, so at that point, you're going to do enrollment forms and things like that. Um, beforehand, you would then complete them, fax them to the pharmacy, wait, then get your response. Most of the time, it was a refaxing again, then wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I always say, and then you get something back again. Then that's when I take two ibuprofen because now I have a headache. And then fax something else. Then you get your delivery maybe, or you get something else saying I need another prior authorization you know, from something else. And then it's, you know, it just seems like it's an awful lot of paperwork. And then it just, it, it seems like it took two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. A, a lot of times, yeah. yeah. It, it just takes an, a length of time mm -hmm. for, for things to go through. Um, and, and honestly, sometimes, I, I, to me, it felt like things could either get missed or misplaced or just, it just was unorganized. It just wasn't in a, a very good flow. And what about today? So using our platform, what, what about today? I, I, I mean, it, I'm still just kind of baffled. And I'm not, and I'm really not just trying to say something. It, like, I, I don't understand, I can't explain it. It's literally three days, three days I have a shipment and I don't understand it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. It's like, I get, at the, three days is like, a, is normal. That's a normal now. A normal. That's normal and that I have drugs in the office from a specialty pharmacy now. And three days after I send them through. And before? Two days. Two days is, is typical too. But three days is normal. That's like a long time. Three days. Three days is long. Yeah. And is what, it, what was normal eight I months mean, ago it, or nine months ago? I don't know. Two, three weeks maybe. Two, three weeks. <laughs> Yeah. So it's I, like, no, that's not right. <laughs> so, so yesterday we were talking, because we knew we were just going to come up and have a conversation, and share about, if you're comfortable, share about some of the emotional pieces and the stress and the work-life balance mm -hmm. that has changed for you after using our platform. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I have been. I, I was, um, you know, six months ago, seven months ago, I was extremely stressed out um, with work. I was, you know, when... And I think we've all been there. You know, you've been to the point where you've been so stressed before that you try not to be stressed out and you don't even realize that you're so stressed out. You kind of forget to sleep. <laughs> Sometimes you kind of forget to do other things. You don't realize that you're not doing the things you normally did. You know, you don't realize that you're kind of not maybe hanging out with your friends so much or you're not taking those phone calls or maybe you're just kind of bypassing the normal things that you do. Um, I actually physically was losing hair and didn't even realize. I was like, why is my, I'm not that old, am I? Then my hair's changing? It's not turned gray, is it? What's going on here? And it was like breaking off. And I was, I was going to see hairdressers, taking vitamins, all kinds of stuff. And I was like, what is happening? They're like, uh, are you under any stress? And I was like, I'm, life happens. I mean, sure, everybody's under a little stress, right? They're like, eh, no, maybe a lot more than that. And then, you know, it got to the point where I thought, you know, I just don't know that I can do this job anymore. And here's the odd part. I love my job. Not a lot of people can say that they love their job. They like their job, but I love my job. I love the people I work with. I don't like the people I work with. Like I love these people. Like they are my family. And these girls that I work with are not just little girls that you know come into your life or whatever. Some of these girls I grew up with, like literally from daycare to life now. They're my past, they're my present, they're my future. Like I know this, this group. So we are, we're truly a family. And it's not, we understand that that's not typical. So we, and we don't take it for granted. We're, we're very uncommon. I mean, even people who talk to us on the phone, they're like, okay, I'm not really sure what's happening in that office, but I kind of want to be a part of it. Um, I kind of get that y'all are a little kind of awkward, but um, <laughs> I like it, you know, I kind of like it. And our patients are a lot like that. You know, they, they're attracted to it, they like it. And, and you want to be a part of it. We kind of just, we take you in and we love you. And that's what we do for a living. <laughs> we love you for a living. That's what we do. Um, and, and I don't know, it's just something more about it. 
the fact that I almost walked away from that bothers me. And, and I'm not going to say just a computer system fixed it all, but it helped it. Mm -hmm. So I guess one of my big things is, is that if any of us can use the tools that we have to help our lives just a little, it makes a huge difference. But going from working 14 hours a day to going home on time, because I'm not sitting on the phone with one pharmacy for four hours a day, makes a difference. So now I can complete enrollment forms or refill, re refill request. They're not just enrollment forms. I can do the refill request on, on their side. That's a big deal. Now I understand. Here's the thing. I know that she's going to, by the way, I'm hijacking this. Go ahead. Go, go away. <laughs> nope, go uh, ahead. Just go away. We're good. We're good. By the way, she's with RX Lighting. Let me talk to you for a little while. Um, no. <laughs> um, but no. So uh, it's great. It's, it's really great, but we all know enrollment forms and how that works. And we do. Okay. We do. We love it. We, you love it? But <laughs> we love to hate it. Don't get me wrong. Okay. That but sounds more right. <laughs> the refills, instead of picking up a phone and calling for, to request a delivery, instead of faxing in another reorder form, I just hit the, re the duplicate, duplicate. The duplicate on this thing, and it redoes it for me. All right? One button, one click. While I'm on hold with an insurance company, I can sit there and duplicate these patients that I need reordered. And now there's this special little button that's got this reminder that will remind me when it's time to reorder them. And I'm like, okay, do you, is there something else that's going to like magically send my lunch down to me too? <laughs> or, you know, go to the dry cleaners for me, tie my shoes in the morning, or a bird's going to come down and tie ribbons in my hair. I love this. I mean, because it's just making my life a little bit easier every day. And mm -hmm. Again, it's just that if we could use all the tools that we have, things will just eventually get easier. So I'm going to pause you there. So we have, we have two features. Every time you do an enrollment um, or a refill or, or whatever you want to call it for a patient, and you, you, not me, not my computer system, but you get to set the date. So if you're an oncologist writing one of the Celgene REMS drugs that you have to do every month, you could set that to be 26 days from now. If you're writing something that you know blizzard season's gonna happen in eight months from now, or I guess it's like three months from now or two months from now, and you want to, you know you need to do, redo that PA or you re need to redo those services, you could set it for two months. If you wanna send it for 360 days, whatever you wanna do, you could set that. You could set it, it comes back in our platform. If it's our portal or our integrations, because we have partners, EHR partners, other solution partners, uh, you could get notifications back there. We could also do text or email notifications or fax to you, depending on how frequently you're in it. So if you use it every day, great. If you're using it less frequency because you might not have a high volume of specialty patients, that's okay too. We've got the solution for you for that. Um, so that's predefined by you. And then on top of that, when, when you go in and you see it, we have the duplicate function. So like she said, everything transfers over to the new enrollment in the new refill, you can review that information and update anything that need, has changed. So there's another lab work, there's another tried and failed med, whatever that looks like. Click the button, review, update, set. Um, and then it's, it's all there for you to go back and look at in one place. No calendars, no Excel sheets, no Outlook, whatever else you're using to manage patients today. Um, it's all in one location, very easy to use, or provider specific, et cetera. Um, there's some new functionality with patients. So, especially in COVID, this pandemic has changed everything. People don't, aren't coming to offices. One of the things that you all need to do is have patient consent and the ability to see patients come in. I know personally that sometimes these patients are driving hundreds of miles to come see you because you're the specialist that's closest to them for treatment. And that is really time consuming to ask a patient to come in and sign something. Or you FedEx them at, which don't even get FedEx, it's, it's, it's snail mail we're really using. So we have the ability to get patient consent outside workflow, text, email. So all you have to do is call them and say, hey, you're going to get a text. It's all secure. It's all HIPAA compliant. Um, 
all in one place, all managed when it's needed. So, so Lacey, t why don't you, like, looking back on it, you didn't believe anything Jordan said. No, nope, don't believe him. Still don't believe him. No, I'm just kidding. Still don't believe him. Still waiting for it. Anything um, happened. No. Any other final thoughts for everyone? I love your ring pen. Oh, yes, we have light up pens. I've told everybody about this pen. <laughs> if you've met me, you've heard about this ink pen. We're out of time. So, I told him it was going to be 30 minutes. <laughs> so thank you all for your time. Um, come join us at the booth. Um, and, you know, Lacey is free to come over as well. And next up is PSI. We're going to take a